On last week's episode, we introduced you guys to this new little mini-series. Camille, Mr. Steady, and myself traveled to Seattle to help our friend Tim rebuild his mastep on his beautiful 1981 Panda 40. Cowboy dog. <laughs> He's giving you a tough time? Yeah, they're a pain in the fucking dick. So they were just too big or they just fucking jammed in there? Or they're what? very big. So it's like there's no room for them to be like deformed, you yeah. know? Yeah. So. I'm just trying to break it. Break it. <sighs> Yeah, we're definitely coming up off the step. Okay. Lifting out of here very slowly. It's already come out. Not up here? No. I mean, maybe a little bit more room, but we're talking like less than a 64th. <laughs> That's a lot more. How much is on the step? Did we come off the step a little more? Yeah, it's off the step quite a bit. It is.
So let me explain what's happening right now. The material you see on the screen is like a purple blue plastic. It's a polymer called spartite and it seals the mast to the deck. So to prevent water intrusion and to keep the mast from moving around in the void made in the deck that the mast goes through on its way to be stepped onto the keel. Now this stuff is amazing. It's a, a great solution to an ancient problem. But the problem is, is getting the mast out once the spar tight has been put in and set and possibly not sealed up on the bottom quite the way it should have been. So what was happening was the crane was actually trying to lift the entire boat out of the water by the mast with the spar tight. So we had to slack off and solve that problem. Coming up. It's coming up. Oh, she's free. Oh. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Is that wood in there? No, it's putty. Okay. It's all yeah, the putty. It's fine. It looks fine, Jim. You looking yeah. good down there? Yeah, we're happy. Steady, okay, come cool. Here. Steady, come here, move your come feet. Come on, you steady. Go slow. Wait, wait. Hold up. Wait. Okay, go slow. Slower. Just, a, just pause. Okay, tell me when you're good to go. I gotta, I gotta put cardboard so it doesn't mar our wall. Oh okay? yeah. Just a second. Take your time. We're not in any rush. Push the mast to starboard. Two, you want the top of the mast to starboard? Yeah. You want me to pull? Do you want me to pull or do you want Just me to go a little. Swing? Just a tiny bit. Now he's going to do it. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. You want to tie a guy on the bottom? Okay. The wires are all clean? Yeah, okay. we're, we're all free and clear down here. One foot! Heart attack number two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You got three or four feet up here. We're coming. We're coming. Tell me when you like it.
What do you think? It's a lot. <laughs> lot, lot going on. <laughs> we need to see what we need to buy. So I had ordered this, but Amazon uh, dropped the ball. Um, so we'll have to find a new masthead light. Seal this better. That's water intrusion right yeah. there. I like this double crane though. This is nice. Really nice. Nice mast. I do wonder why they didn't utilize this other. other. You know well, I mean? you want spinnakers out. Yeah. You want them out. You see how it has to go on outside? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you can see this is where it fought us, you know? It's interesting, he just had to score it though, that's cool. We would like to thank all the guys from Seaview West Boatyard in Seattle, Washington. Those guys were incredibly professional, know their business, and if you ever have to have a mast pulled or have your boat on the hard in Seattle or the Pacific Northwest, we highly recommend that boat yard. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. It helps us a lot. Thanks again to all of our patrons. Your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things. Until next time. <laughs>